so in this experiment or this demo, we will be preparing a sample of lead to iodide. This is an insoluble salt. So whenever we're going to um, prepare a salt, the first thing we ask, or we should ask ourselves, is if this salt is insoluble. Now, if the salt is insoluble, then we have to use the technique called anionic precipitation. To prepare a sample of lead to iodide, we're using two soluble salts as ionic precipitation dictates. Now we're using lead nitrate since we know that all nitrates are soluble. So all nitrates are soluble, we're using lead nitrate. We're also using potassium iodide. All salts of potassium, ammonium, sodium are soluble. So, we have to use two soluble salts that contain the ions of the salt that we're going to prepare. So, we want to prepare lead iodide. Lead to iodide. That's an insoluble salt, so we have to write it as solid. And from this equation, we're going to get let's see, lead nitrate plus potassium iodide. It's a double decomposition of reaction, so we're going to end up with uh, potassium nitrate. Now we have to balance uh, this equation. We have two iodides over here, so we put that three right there. So that's an object. This two means everything after the two is multiplied by the two, so we have to get that two note over here for the um, potassium to be balanced. No, what, what's happening? This is a solid salt. So in A plus medium, this is breaking down to give us PB2 plus K plus ions plus NO3, two nitrate ions. We're also getting two KI, sorry, two potassium ions, or two moles of potassium ions, but not to get into any moles it seems now. Two iodide ions, and for the products, let's just draw a line. It's a separate. We're getting PBI2. We'll have to just write this back. And we're going to be getting 2 K plus K plus plus 2 NO3. I'm just breaking them down into their respective ions so we actually see what's happening. So, whenever we're looking at an equation, we normally um, cancel out or cut out anything that is common to both sides. So going into cut out, let's see, nitrates are the same thing. Over the left side as on the right, they're the same state, the same charge. The potassium ions, they have not changed ions, so it means they are spectator ions. So our net ion equation, NIE, would be PB2 plus A plus plus 2I. I died and that will give us PBI2, which is that side. So this is theory, this is what is supposed to be happening on the microscopic level. Let us see what this looks like in real life. So we have our lead nitrate and we have our potassium iodide solution. So both of them are colorless liquids, as is so all we're doing. It's just pouring one into the other. So we're just going to add the potassium nitrate to the lead iodide. Should I say voila? This is what we end up with. So next we'll have to filter so we'll get our solid. And the solid here would be our lead iodide and the liquid that will be left would be our potassium or nitrate if you're going to have a filter. So we need to have folded the paper. Filter paper we'll just fold it in half, then half again and we can fold it in half again to fruit it. So we actually get a faster rate of filtering taking place. So then we'll place this in our filter funnel. And we normally just spread it water to help put the what's that adhesion and to help with the flow. 
Then we'll filter. We can use the glass shot as a policeman to guide the flow of the, the mixture. And of course, we wait. We can't rush it. Science can't be rushed. So we just wait. So our filtrate, based on our equation, is potassium nitrate going through, and then our yellow solid that remains in the in the filter paper as the residue is our lead iodide. So we'll just wait on this, and we'll um, come back a little later when we finish to just pat it dry. We will not put it in any oven to dry. We're just going to pat it dry with um, our paper tool. So see you again. Alright, so we've come to the end of the filtration process, so we're just going to rinse this with minimum amount, just a little um, distilled water to just get off the, the excess, excess potassium nitrate. And then what we can do, we can now take this lead iodide that we just prepared. And we normally we just pat it dry between some paper towel. So different sources will tell you to oven dry, but you don't have to put it in the oven. No? This is just a simple preparation. You don't have to waste energy to dry it like that. So we just put it there and we we'll just pat it dry between paper towel and we'll be good to go. So we need a little bit more but this is our this is our final product. But we need more um, paper. So it's a little powdery bright yellow lead iodide. So there we go. So until next time it's copper laser.